the summer of 69 was a magical summer. I mean, there was a lot of things going on in New York, that's for sure. We all felt like we were part of a movement because most of us were anti-Vietnam War people because we wanted them to come back because we really felt like they were dying needlessly. And wherever you would go, two months before or a month and a half before the, the, the concert, people would be asking each other, are you going to Woodstock? Are you going to Woodstock? Are you going to Woodstock? The lead up to Woodstock was what to me was really, really important because it really felt to me like we're getting back to the land. We're getting back to nature. We're getting back to who we are as human beings. And, and, and that, that was what was really important to me. The, the awesome part, who I was at Woodstock, was not actually at the venue. It was off to an area where a bunch of us were camping out because we couldn't get in. Um, and so, so we, we created a, like a side community. We were going to go the next day and, and it started pouring. I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't move. I mean, it, there was mud all over the place and, and so it was a very difficult time. So, so what I experienced was more of camaraderie outside of of the actual venue, but it was more or less, it was more or less a, um, an experience of, of getting back to nature and getting back to the land. You know, we were, um, we were more or less um, um, sharing a, a lot of marijuana at the time and hashish um, and, 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 and trying to stay warm. <laughs> and, and so for the most part, um, we, we, were, we were having a good time. There's no doubt about it. If it had to do with the United States government at that point, we didn't trust it. We thought there was, there was other things going on, ulterior motives. This Vietnam thing really changed me in a lot of ways. Um, I, was, I had just graduated uh, high school um, and I was start getting ready to start Queens College. I was in pre-med uh, and I got, got to tell you, Things like Woodstock helped to change my thinking to the point where I eventually, instead of becoming a doctor, I became a carpenter. I, I wanted to get back to the land and, and work, work with my hands and not get involved in, in what society, what I thought society wanted me to do. I got involved in what I thought I should do to help society. This piece of history is starting to fade away. And it was such an important part of who we were, and I think, in a sense, who our children became. And so this piece of history is so important. And without events or an interview like this, it, it, would, be, it, would, it would go away.